This is, my name is Tanner Weiss, and this is my presentation on the resilience in New Orleans as a result of Hurricane Katrina. Hurricane Katrina was a Category 5 hurricane that hit New Orleans in August of 2005. It killed over 1,800 people and is the costliest hurricane in U.S. history, according to Britannica. Resilience is a term that can be defined in many ways. One of these ways, as defined by Kendra Cherry, an author and educator, is that it is an ability to handle life setbacks and an overall representation of adaptability. She also writes about community resilience, a specific type that was shown by the people of normals. It is the ability of groups to recover from difficult situations and people working together to solve problems that affect the individual and the group. All of this has led me to my thesis that in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, resilience has helped the people of New Orleans to regrow and become better as a community. There are three main ways that resilience has helped the people of New Orleans to come back after Katrina better. These are within their community, by their rebuilding efforts, and within their culture. First, their community. They have supported each other through all the hardship. Through this, they have shown community resilience. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services described it as having a socially connected community and having accessible health systems that are able to withstand disaster and foster community recovery. Also, Anita Chandra, a professor, described some of the ways that the people of New Orleans showed it as fostering neighbor-to-neighbor -neighbor ties, improving risk communication, and encouraging multi-sector partnerships between governments, business, and community organizations. <clears throat> the next way that they have been resilient is by their regrowth of the city. They have rebuilt businesses, homes, and many more things. Amy Liu, the president of Brookings Institute, wrote about all the people and organizations that have come together to help the rebuilding efforts in New Orleans. She wrote that, quote, since the storm, an outpouring of support and assistance has flown to New Orleans. Major philanthropies, national nonprofits, and faith-based organizations, businesses, and experts of all kinds have individually and in partnership come to guide and assist the economic recovery of the city. The last way that resilience has helped the people of New Orleans to come back better after Hurricane Katrina is by their dedication to preserving their culture. Helen Taylor, a researcher at Cambridge University, talks about it. She wrote that, quote, New Orleans' history is one of destruction and rebuilding climatic disaster, and haphazard reconstruction. But there is a strong commitment by its citizens and internationally celebrated musicians to keep the city alive, and the global reputation and power of its music have attracted powerful advocates and cheerleaders." End quote. Later, she talks about the history and entertainment that is also held onto dearly by its citizens. The counterclaim to the argument is that nothing good has come as a result of Hurricane Katrina. The main reason people think that way is because of the many deaths and high cost. Met Office, the UK's national weather program, summarizes these things. Quote, 1,500 deaths in the states of Louisiana, Mississippi, Florida, the $300 billion cost, the thousands of homes and businesses being destroyed, and the thousands of jobs lost, end quote. Katrina is the costliest hurricane in US history so that is one of the main reasons why people think this way. Although the many deaths and high costs are very terrible things that came as a result of the hurricane, that claim is false because good has come from it. Judith Rodin, the president of Rockefeller Foundation, talked about the ways that New Orleans has improved after Hurricane Katrina. Quote, New Orleans has transformed its public education systems diversified its economy, and reimagined its neighborhoods with transformative results." End quote. She also said that this coming back better than before is called a resilience dividend, in which benefits pay off in good times while reducing vulnerability in bad times. <clears throat> in conclusion, the resilience shown by the people of New Orleans has been outstanding, 
and it has led to their communities being better than before the hurricane. And although some people don't think, claim that nothing good has come as a result of this hurricane, this is not true because improvements have been made to their school systems, economy, and neighborhoods. Thank you. Okay, you're super short. You're at 520, which means you, you just cut too much from your paper. Like you can bring back in probably a good quote or two for each one of your three main claims because it just feels really thin. It feels like you're giving me an overview instead of an argument. Okay? And I think there's a good argument there. You just left most of it behind. So bring some more forward. All right, thank you. Gage, you're up, and then Vincent, you'll be next. Okay guys, get your little pieces of paper ready. Okay, now I gotta get both of these started before we